Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. So, um, something happened between the last recording and this one that actually forced me to have to, um, record that boss over again. Or not record the boss, but actually do the boss over again. And very little changed, actually. The only thing I think that's really going to be of note is that, um, I actually managed to keep Ivan alive during that battle, so he actually gained experience for that fight. Uh, regardless, so let's head in here and actually, t and actually uh, look at this unique cutscene right here. Mia. We were worried that you wouldn't come back. I'm sorry, you two. Mia, we have a problem. The Mercury Lighthouse has been lit. Yeah, we know all about that. Mia, you already knew? What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. I... How should I tell you? You have something you, uh, you want... You have something to say. What is it? Well, I, um... I, I'll be joining Game Dog on his quest. It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. You said the world would be in danger if the lighthouse was lit, right? It, yeah, is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? Yes, that's right. Then there's nothing we can do. We won't try to stop you, then. After all, you are trying to protect the Mercury Clan. Oh, much more than that. Yes, I am. As a member of the Mercury Clan, we will protect and mail ourselves. So don't worry, okay? I'll try hard to, yeah, and learn to he learn to heal as well as you, Mia. Okay, I'll leave the villages to in your hands, Megan, Justin. We can leave without any worries now. You know, that's a very minimal scene right there, and I don't even think you have to trigger to, to beat the game in any way, but I always like that a lot. The fact that, like, you have those two kids right there who look like regular NPCs, but they actually have, like, names and stories. I always like when games got other ways to do that. Anyway, um, the, the, I actually said that there were a couple of major differences going back to a mill. This is another big one right here. Um, the two, uh, the, the shop dealers are actually, um, working again. Uh, so, you know what, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to go to repair and repair Ivan's, um... Uh, healing ring that's been broken for a few episodes now, so he's gonna fix that up With a couple of clings of his uh, anvil I'd assume which I do not see in the frame right now There we go. It's not working again. So good. We can actually use that until uh, it's not broken. <laughs> I like that. Um Let's see. Uh oh, I also want to sell a few things. Let's see. Um, I probably not gonna be using the sleep bombs, so we'll go ahead and sell those. Um, the nuts I might use. Uh, actually, oh man, you know we don't. We, nest, we certainly do not need vials, vials this early on. So I'm just gonna sell those for the time being. And uh, let's see here. The rest of this I actually kind of like having on me, so I think I'll, I'll leave that um, for the time being. Uh, regardless, so let's actually let's check artifacts. Actually, you must be um a connoisseur if uh, if uh, those caught your eye. What would you like? Ah, yes, this actually appears as well. Um, these are artifacts, and uh, if, yeah, as you probably expect, um, I think I've talked about artifacts before, but they're those, uh, they're those, um, they're those, yeah, they're those like magical weapons that can unleash like certain attacks or certain special attacks whenever they unleash a critical hit. Those kinds of weapons, and even some armor with similar properties, um, can be bought here, and they're usually a lot better than your normal attacks. For example, here you can get the Blessed Ankh Staff, unleashes um, uh, Siphon Seal. And I believe that is actually a really powerful weapon we can equip to, um, let's see, I kind of like the, um, the Witch's Wand right now. So yeah, we'll equip it to, uh, Ivan. So there we go. And, uh, we can also, uh, have him sell his old Elven Rape here. I'm not gonna sell it quite yet. Oh, right, we also get game tickets. If you buy, if you, um, if you spend enough money purchasing something, you actually get one of these. We can use them right now, but I'm gonna try and stockpile a lot of them while we're here. Now, one thing I do want to check, I actually want to make sure the Elven Rape here, um, isn't powerful on someone else. Uh, oh, yes, it actually is. Let's give it to Garrett next, actually. Good. And then let's equip his old weapon. Um, let's see, uh, let's, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. That's pretty powerful. We'll do that. I will also try to sell this as well. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, you know, I'm actually looking at my team right now. We can't sell the um the shaman rod. We can sell these though. Those really don't really do much um this early on. That we probably we can probably get magic very easily. That does the exact same thing. Uh, and after that, okay, now it's all left. All that's left to do is um is uh, actually just try to buy some items uh, basically. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll um you look bold already. We can get rid of the band sword if you want. Um, I'm not going. I actually am going to. And we get another game ticket. We'll just give that to me for the time being. 
Uh, let's see, can anyone equip the Heavy Mace? No. Uh, let's look at the Broadsword. Let's see, it's actually weaker than the Elven Rapier. I'm gonna have that equipped for the time being. Okay, good. So, that was a lot of money spent there, but it does give us some more powerful weapons, which is always appreciative. Uh, let's see, the Adept's Clothes. Oh, I remember this being a pretty good weapon here. Uh, we're actually gonna sell the Fur Coat, actually, because it's much weaker than the Adept's Clothes. And, uh, yeah, okay, we'll give you the game ticket. Yep, so there's one for myself. Let's get for Oh, wait a second, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was uh, actually really bad, actually. Um, let's see. Let's uh, switch back out. Uh, let's see if I can just actually equip um, something I have on me. Yeah, I don't want to sell like an extra one of these. What do I have right now? I have the um, I have the synergy armor. Okay, yeah, I don't really need that on. I, I don't really need that for the time being. Let's give that to Ivan. Actually, there we go. Uh, just so I don't buy an extra one, my complete accent. There we go. And then the last one I believe is going to go to Mia. There we go. Okay, good. So we're going to sell the old travel robe because that is a really bad um, armor at this point in the game. Uh, next, let's look at. Uh, actually, let's look at this real quick. Uh, that's actually a lot weaker. Next is the bronze shield. We can actually buy one of these both for myself and for Garrett. You know, the golden rule I like to keep in mind is that if Gara can equip something, most likely um, Isaac can as well, which is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, good. Another game ticket. I like stockpiling as many of those as possible, and we will explain what they do later on. Uh, the leather gloves is an upgrade for um, for Ivan, so I might as well equip that to him. Uh, sell the old leather armbands, get another game ticket. Uh, let's see, next is uh, the bracelet. Can the bracelet be equipped to anyone? Yes, it can, but um, I mean, obviously all these can be equipped to people. Ah, uh, the wooden cap. I remember this being a very good thing to actually buy. It's, uh, it's, it gives you, like, that's like, um, that's uh, some solid defense it gives you right there, and uh, we can equip to everyone, so we might as well buy one for everyone. Yeah, there we go, get the game ticket. Uh, good. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this yet, but um, the amount of, uh, the amount of one item you actually hold in a slot like that, is uh, oh I didn't mean to do that uh oh um I, I was actually up uh, no 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 I want to get that oh that was kind of bad actually whatever uh, let's see we'll sell that old item uh let's see hat I didn't realize you could actually turn down the game tickets I shouldn't have done that actually I think I did uh, before by complete accident but yeah okay we actually got uh, some very good upgrades and we actually um we've equipped our team with uh, the highest um kind of equipment they can actually get at this point in the game which is always awesome I like that quite a bit so um what do we actually gotta do now well we had to hit back to um. So if you remember, uh, let's see, the reason why we went um, out here, and, yeah, the reason why we uh, filled that, that, uh, that like, vial up with, um, uh, the reason why we filled that vial up in the first place, uh, the glass bottle, is so we can go back to Kalima Forest and, uh, and heal the, um, and heal one of the sacred trees with it. We're gonna try and go back and heal Tret now, and that's our next, um, that's our next objective. It's a little bit of a trick backwards, but there is, it's, it's only one way, so you don't have to come back here anyway. Let's see, we'll use Jupiter on you. There we go, that's pretty solid, actually. Okay, good, so, oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, um, Garrett learned Astral Blast. Oh, man, I'm not, I don't, yeah, I kid you not, Astral Blast is actually one of my favorite looking attacks in the early game. It's not really that good, but it's just a really cool looking move, which I think I'll, very, I'll use very liberally, just because I like the look of it. Uh, let's see, let's use it on this bear, actually. Let's see, Granite, uh, we'll use Sleep on the bear, because of uh, the Mauler, actually. Yeah, Astral Blast. Attack with Celestial Force. I really like the look of this attack a lot. Let's see, Plasma on the Oozes, and uh, let's see, Froth on the Oozes. I might want to heal my team up a little bit. I might do that after this battle, actually. Uh, of course, then again, maybe not. That is a really cool looking attack. I like just how the camera turns around, like how they how they um kind of fly away like a mode seven effect. Like it's just really cool looks it look it's just really cool looking to me. Uh there we go. Okay, Mia's gonna take some damage there, but yeah, we'll just lower your attacks. I can't really do that, that much more. Oh wait a second, that just killed him. Okay, whatever. Um Mercury, I think I'll take this opportunity to try and heal up a little bit if I can. Let's see, Cure Well. I'm probably gonna heal it back later. Astral Blast, because it's amazing looking. Let's see, uh, Plasma. Oh, wait a second, I, I could probably use Plasma on the other guy. Yeah, there we go. Actually, wait a second, I can use the Summon on the other guy. There we go, that's awesome, actually. Okay, um, and then you on Ivan. Although, thinking about it, you might be able to kill him before they actually get those off. Yeah, okay, that was unfortunate. Whatever, uh, let's go back into the menu real quick and actually uh, do that while we're here. Uh, this takes like two seconds, so I might as well do this. Let's see, Ivan, I think, was missing some. Mia was definitely missing some. That's looking a little bit better. Garrett's missing a little bit, but not nearly as much. You know, one thing I really like about this game is that when you do want to go into the menu and heal, it's actually very fast. Um, let's see, it is extremely fast to do so. Oh, and by the way, I know about this puzzle up here involving the flame. Um, it's just that we can't fully complete it yet, so I'm, I might come back later and actually do it right now. Yeah, we actually need a move that we don't have quite yet. Uh, for the time being, though, we have some more oozes right here. Let's see, let's use Cutting Edge. I think that's a new move we learned, actually. Let's see, Astral Blast. Uh, just, just do some regular attacks on the ooze, which he unfortunately did dodge. Like, that move is so cool looking to me. That actually one-shot him? Oh my goodness. Um, I didn't expect that to. Uh-oh, they're starting to multiply now. He should probably take some time to try and kill him as quickly as possible. Uh, oh yes, that's Synergy Seal. Synergy Seal, I, yeah, Synergy Seal, I think, has, um, it has a chance to cast, um, uh, this Astasium called Seal Synergy. I think that's what it's called. And if you ever have played other uh, JRPGs, it's pretty much the equivalent of Silence. Which makes it so your opponent cannot use magic in any way. It is very deadly if um, if an opponent uses it on us, but um, 
I, I don't even think many enemies actually do that. I think these guys might actually, but oh, well, I didn't mean to run there, but whatever. That, that kind of worked out. It's kind of neat to use on bosses um, if uh, you can find one that's actually weak to it. Uh, let's see. Let's jump around here, and uh, let's see. Let's head back out here. And then, you know what? I think, um, let's see here. I believe next time we're going to keep, we're going to head back to Kalima Forest. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.